Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be looking at creating the image that I'm going to put on screen just now. Now, this image comprises of three separate images, which I will put a link to in the description below, so you can download and try this, follow along for yourself. The reason I'm creating these videos and providing the files is just to give you more experience using Photoshop. Plus, if you've got the images there to follow along if you want, you can do so. Photoshop doesn't have A to B to C. Photoshop, you can do a million different things to get to the end result. So with these videos, I'm trying just to build up a good skill base for you to tackle any subject matter. So hopefully that is helping with you. Over the next week while, I'll also be adding a second video during the week. And I might just do this bi-monthly. And what that'll be is just maybe a two to three minute video at the most that'll come out on a Wednesday or a Thursday. And it'll just be aimed specifically at a topic that I think will also help increase your skill base. So take a look out for them. The first one's coming next week and then two a month at the moment just to see how they help. So without further ado, let's dive into this video and hopefully you'll get something from this one as well. Instead of creating a document setup, you can actually open the first image of the soldier in Photoshop and then drag the next three images on top of it. From here, we are going to rasterize each one of these layers because we don't need them as smart objects. So just right click and rasterize. Now the first layer we're going to be working on is the birds layer. And we're going to scale that down to a size that suits the image for now which we can adjust later. We're then going to use the darken mode to blend away the white. And we're also going to turn down the opacity of this layer because they wouldn't be as contrasty away in the distance with the mist. From here, we've added a mask layer and we're just going to use the brush to blend away any of the birds that are through the soldier and that are at the side of the image. There's many different ways of selecting subjects in Photoshop and here's one way which is using the object selection tool. Now if you get into the icon for selection and then take object selection tool at the top you'll see select subject. So take that and it will create a marquee around your selection. From here we are going to click the mask button and there is your object selected. Many times when you select a subject, you'll notice that there is a white border depending on the background uh, that appears around your selection. Now you've got to refine that and one of the ways you can do it is hold down control and select the mask. Then go into filter, other and choose minimum. Now the pop-up window appears here and I've just left it at one to show you. So if I click OK, you'll notice that it doesn't take anything away. So what we do is hold down control and go back into filter, other, select minimum, and then make an adjustment in here. In this case, I'm just going to go to two. On top of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into select and modify, and I'm going to contract the selection by two pixels in this case and click OK and that will eat in to the image of the woman slightly. From here it's just a case of enabling the mask layer and using a brush to paint out any areas that you are not happy with. Now this is the simplest form of editing the masks and editing a subject in here but it gives you all the different possibilities depending on what the subject is and what it is you are looking to do with your images. There's many, many more ways of selecting subjects and refining it even further, which I will show you in future videos. The hair in this case will be blended away with our next edit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn down the opacity of this layer and fade it into the background slightly and also using Command and T, which is free transform, we're going to scale it to a size that we think works best for your image. From here, I'm going to use the linear gradient tool 
and I'm using the basics in the middle one and I'm using a radial gradient to blend away. But that's not the final part of this because what we're also going to do, it doesn't give, achieve the effect that I'm after for this. So we're also going to use the brush and blend away other areas just so that it's a subtle effect in the background. It's also at this point I'm also going to, using Command and T, scale the birds just so that they complement the composition of the image. It's at this point we want to start bringing the tonality of the image together. So above the girl layer, I'm going to add a hue saturation layer and clip it to the layer below and then turn the saturation down slightly. So that's only affecting the girl. On top of that, I'm going to add a curves layer. And if you see this hand icon, this is a good way of using curves because you can place it over your image and drag it up and down to get the final effect that you're after with the curves. And you'll notice that on the curves tool, on the line of the curves, that also adjusts it there as well. So it's actually a really good way of working with curves. So that curves affected the entire image. I've now clipped it to the layer of the girl. And then I can get back in here at any point as well and just adjust where I think it would be best adjusted. Now it's time to add another adjustment and in this case curves above the soldier layer and again that's just to help try and bring out the entire image with that. As you can see I've used the hand tool to adjust the curves there as well. I'm also going to add a hue saturation layer to that and just simply pull the saturation back slightly. Most of the brushes I use I get from BrushEasy.com and in this instance I'm going to use a fog brush and I want to add that in a new layer above the soldier layer so that it falls behind the girl. So I just click and add new layer and then paint that in. Now because this is in its own layer I can move this around or I can delete it and redo it, make the brush smaller with the square brackets, rotate the brush if I want using the arrow keys in the keyboard and then I can move it into place or I can use the eraser tool in this case and just paint away gently areas that I don't want to be visible. You'll notice that some of the brushes have square edges so that's one of the things for using the eraser is good. If I want to as well I can turn down the opacity of it. This is all because it's on its own layer so I'm just taking my time here and placing it where I want it to be. The next thing we want to do is we want to emphasise the sun in this image that just coming through the mist. So I'm going to go for a soft round brush which is the very first brush in the basics brushes menu. And you'll just see it here if I go in there, soft round. And I'm going to take the size down. But before I do that, I'm going to create a new layer so that I have control over this layer. I'm just going to paint a couple of times and then use Command and T or Control and T and move that into position. It's at this point I can also turn the opacity down if I wish. Now that the image is nearly finished, it's time to get back through your adjustment layers and just adjust every one till you get to the point where you are happiest with the overall effect of your image. Even if that means going in and playing around with the levels and everything, you set them at the beginning, but it doesn't mean that's how they'll stay at the end. So it's a good thing to just take an overview of your image and do that. Another thing we're going to look at, I'm not overly happy with the hair at the top. So with the mask selected in this layer, I'm going to paint away very gently with the opacity of the brush turned down. And this will just help the overall effect of the image and the blend. A final tip to bring everything together is press shift Control, alt and e to combine all the images onto one layer then create a brand new layer a blank layer flood fill it in this case i'm choosing black and then go into noise and add noise now the settings i have here are 
monochromatic and Gaussian and you can play around with any of the settings in this to get the final effect that you're after. Once you're happy click OK and then go for a blend mode that suits your image. You also can turn down the opacity of this. Now, we don't want it too much. We just want it to blend different images together. Now, if I flick this layer on and off, you'll see it's a very subtle effect, but it also helps tie the entire image together. Top of that, we can add another adjustment layer to the entire image again and just darken it down. Now this is a really quick way of bringing images together and to give you some good ideas or hopefully some good ideas for your images. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it just lets you see that there's many different ways of editing in Photoshop but in a short space of time you can come up with a half decent image that's very simply executed and it can be used for a whole host of things, for example book covers. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.